yeah, there's a lot um, that goes on in the rugby environment that I guess could impact your, your mental health. Um, the obvious ones are not being selected. You're there to play rugby, you know, and when you're not picked 10 weeks in a row, it gets pretty tough. Um, another one will be injury. Like I say, you're there to play rugby and you're injured for nine months. That's pretty tough. Probably go through some pretty dark times during that time. But then there's even just small stuff, you know, like you've got 34 plus management people in the same room effectively, on the same field for close to 12 months a year. You know, there's going to be some personality clashes um, or some people that don't quite fit in, stuff like that. So I guess even though you're around people all the time, you can still feel like you're quite isolated if uh, you feel like you don't click with the boys well. So that's another one, is just feeling like you're the odd one out. Then just even if you are being selected and you're not injured, performing, performing well is a big one. So I guess you could say that no matter who you are on the team, whether you're the captain or whether you're the non-selected injured boy, like there are things that are going on in your day-to-day -day life that could affect your mental well-being. Um, it's a very high-pressure environment. Everything's competitive. Um, so yeah, there are always things that are affecting you and you could let them get to you or you could deal with them early, I guess.